Hey, I'm Griff, and welcome to my 3 o'clock live from Humboldt Redwood State Park. Isn't that amazing and wonderful? I love this place. So I want to talk to you guys about something super cool, because California is super cool. Some of you are from Australia, some of you are from Texas, but y'all should be jealous of what we got going on. We have a California Biodiversity Day. It's a state holiday. Biodiversity is a variety of life. We celebrate our animals and plants, the diversity. And California's got biodiversity like crazy. We have more rare plants than a lot of states have plants. A third of the species of animals and plants that you could find in the United States live in California. We are one of the 33 global hot spots in the world. It's super cool. But even if you live in some place that doesn't have crazy biodiversity, y'all should still have a state biodiversity day. So for our California biodiversity day, this is only the second or third one. We have a lot planned right here on this Facebook channel and our Instagram pages and our Humboldt Redwood State Parks um, page. So starting tomorrow, we're celebrating biodiversity day, which is September 7th. We, we, we like to do too much. So we're going to do it from 5th to the 13th. So... Tomorrow we're going to kick off the Bio Blitz Dance. And some of you have seen um, my Bio Blitz Dance. I think it was last week or the week before. So remember the Black Bear move? Okay. And so we're going to be doing the Bio Blitz Dance. And we're going to explain to you. We're not going to explain anything. We're just going to dance. I'm going to kick it off because it's a competition. So during the week, there's a Bio Blitz competition. So a Bio Blitz is when a group of volunteers comes together in a place. And they set an amount of time. And they download the iNaturalist app from their app store to their smartphone, okay? And they take pictures and you and you need uh, you need reception to um download the app, but to participate, you don't need reception. So between the 5th and the 12th, you download the app to your phone, participate in the Bio Blitz, and the Bio Blitz is a competition. So Prairie Creek Redwood State Park called out Humboldt Redwood State Park in a Bio Blitz competition. So what that means is I don't know what that was. I think a bug flew in my mouth. Um, so what that is, is you'll go out with your smartphone. You already downloaded the iNaturalist and you'll take pictures and then you'll upload them in the park that has the most species observed between the 5th and the 12th will win and we'll announce the winner on the 13th. Okay. So again, a bio blitz competition the BioBlitz competition starts tomorrow. So what's a natural? I don't still don't understand. So if you go to your your app store and then you download iNaturalist. So I know this is a mirror or whatever, but see the little green bird? All you gotta do is remember that green bird. Download that, create a profile. So you can and you can give yourself a username, you can give yourself a cool username. You could be like, you could be like Redwood Witch 8675309. And um then you can go out and you take pictures. So you open your app, okay? And there's this little green plus sign. I know that's hard to see. And you click that. And then there's a little, some options. And you just want to do the camera option. And again, this works even if you, you know, you don't have a service because you can take pictures of things and then you can upload them when you get into service. So if you love Prairie Creek, you're going to do this in Prairie Creek. If you love Humboldt Redwoods, um, you can do it in, in Humboldt Redwoods. If you love both, then you'll go to Humboldt Redwoods and do it. Oh, I'm a little biased, sorry. Okay, so I'm gonna take a picture of something so you guys stare at those plants. I'll be right back. All right, so I took a picture of five fingered ferns, and so I'm gonna press OK, and now it's gonna think about it. And then say, like, I didn't know they were five fingered ferns. Say, like, I thought they were something. Um, uh, I'll get to that, Kim. So Kim said, good question. Number of observations or number of species, which counts? Both of them count. So observation and species. Um, so we're gonna do, it's a double competition. So anyways, I got I, I uploaded that little fern there, but I don't know what it is. Pretend like I don't know what it is. And it says, what did you see? What did you see? And so I'm going to click on that. And if I have reception, so you might not be able to do this till you get into reception. And then it suggests some things. And there, one of the first suggestions is made in hair and fern. So it uses like face recognition technology to help recognize the animal or plant. So then I click on that and um, it says I can compare. It has a little information about um, Western maidenhair ferns or five fingered ferns and I'm going to select it. And then I upload it and it will count. Now say like Kim Cabrera, she's like 
helping me identify things. And she sees, and, and, and this platform is like a social media platform. So she sees your upload of a five fingered fern and she says, yes, that is a five fingered fern. And she says she likes it. And, and she says, yes, that's a five finger fern. And then someone else says, yes, it's a five finger fern. Then that gets turned upgraded to research grade. And when it becomes research grade, it gets uploaded to California Academy of Sciences where it's available to scientists. So say like a scientist wants to see how five fingered ferns are affected by climate change. And they could just type in five fingered ferns and see everywhere they have been found because um, it geolocates your location. So make sure you have that part on your phone um, turned on during this so that um, and you can look, you can do it manually too, but it takes more time. And so they could see where the ferns are and you are contributing to data for scientists. This is a great community science project, but it's also a competition. Now you don't have to upload to, you know, you don't have to worry about like naming I'm part of this competition because between the fifth and the 13th or fifth and the 12th, I already set up a filter. So everyone who uses iNaturalist in Prairie Creek and in Humboldt Redwood State Park they're automatically, whether they know the competition exists or not, is getting uploaded to my projects, okay? So all you got to do is go out there and play. Take the pictures out there. Even if you go home and upload it and you live in Cucamonda, um, it's still going to say that you were in Prairie Creek Ribbon State Park. So all you got to do is go out there with your germ posse, okay? Because, you know, this is a way that you could do citizen science and celebrate biodiversity in a way that you won't get COVID because you could go with your family, your germ posse, and you guys can do this on your own, okay? It'd be nice if we could all get together, but it just ain't the time folk, for that, folks. It's just not the time. Maybe next year. But this year, iNaturalist. So please download it to your phone. Not only is this a fun event and a competition that Humboldt Redwood State Park really wants to win, but it's also a way to help biodiversity, variety of life. Now, a lot of us get super depressed because we hear about all things going extinct and there's just like so little environmental, good environmental news. And, and like for a lot of us are like, we're like, there's nothing more important than clean air, clean soil, clean water and biodiversity. How could you people not care more? And we get, we get ecological depression. So the way to having ecological depression doesn't help save bio, biodiversity. Doing something about it does help. And you know what? iNaturalist is a good way to contribute because it collects data on where species exist and helps scientists and land managers make the right decisions that are going to protect and restore habitat for um, all the different species. So, you know, recently our Humboldt Martins got uh, listed. They're like this little weasel. Like if you saw it, you'd want to cuddle it and everything, but you did. It'd probably bite your bottom lip off because it's a vicious predator, but it's still cute. But we thought they were extinct. Okay. And then someone found a few and then we found a couple more inside of our parks. Okay. Inside a couple of our parks and they just got listed. And so our biologists, we have very good biologists in this district, North coast redwoods district. We got the biologists and they, um, are doing stuff to help bring back the Humboldt Martin. Okay. If you got some Humboldt Martin tracks, cause you, on iNaturals, you can take tra pictures of tracks or poop. So say you got some Humboldt Martin poop and you uploaded it. That would be super cool. It would. I know that's the one time the poop is cool. Maybe not the only time, but it's cool. So tracks work, bones work, scat works, um, all will count iNaturalist. So I hope you guys download this to your phone and participate because Prairie Creek really thinks they're going to win. Humboldt Redwoods thinks they're going to win too. So it's up to you guys. Share this, bring your family, and go out there and download iNaturalist. Take a bunch of pictures, go home, upload them all. They'll automatically go every day at three o'clock on this Facebook page, we're gonna do a contest update, a creature feature. So if you find something super cool, say like some humble Martin poop or some dog vomit slime mold, that's really a thing, dog vomit slime mold. Look it up. I found it last year in Prairie Creek during the Bob Blitz. I found it here a couple weeks or a couple months ago. So you upload those things and then when we'll look and, it, and we'll say, oh, Kim Cabrera or Braid found some dog vomit slime mold and we'll shout you out and we'll show your dog vomit slime mold which really is an organism and um we'll celebrate every day and then our team captains kyle at prairie creek and erica they're gonna come on and they're gonna like juice each other like because they're both serious about winning and i'm like i was talking to the other day. I'm, i had to break them up i had to step between them and tell them to calm down because they are really into winning this unnaturalist bio blitz event so if you want to learn more about California Biodiversity Day, go to CaliforniaBiodiversityInitiative.org. It's beautiful. Our state's so lucky we have something like this. Okay. Wish I had more teeth, but it's still a really good thing. 
And um, during this week also, there'll be some interviews with our biologist and we have the best biologist and we're going to be, um, we're going to be, sorry, I had to remove that phone call. We're going to be interviewing some of them about their amazing work with snowy plovers, with removing invasive species, um, Humboldt Martin, salmon, like be doing some cool stuff. So share this video, especially if you're in Humboldt or Del Norte counties. Get your germ posse ready to come out between the 5th and the 12th and have your iNaturalist ready. Come to Humboldt Redwood State Parks or Prairie Creek Redwood State Park. Make a difference. Don't just be depressed about biodiversity. Help scientists by having fun and uploading stuff on, on, on iNaturalist because together we can make a difference. And we're going to talk about things that you can do to, to help biodiversity throughout the week. So every day turn in 3 o'clock on this Facebook page. And also pay attention because some of our interviews are going to be happening in the morning with biologists. It's going to be an awesome week, California Biodiversity Day. And if you want to participate in California Biodiversity Day by posting pictures or whatever to your social media, just hashtag it, you know, at the pound sign, CA Biodiversity Day. Hashtag CA Biodiversity Day. Thank you very, very much for watching this. And I hope you all come out to either Humboldt, Redwood, and Prairie Creek State Park with your iNaturalist and German Posse. And let's make this happen.